car behind me is the McLaren Elva. Uh, to understand what the Elva is all about, it's worth briefly talking a little bit about the aerodynamic history of our Ultimate Series cars. So the first Ultimate Series car we did here at McLaren Automotive was the P1. And the mission for that car was to be the ultimate car on road and track. And on track, that car generated 600 kilos of downforce at 150 miles an hour, which back then, with its active aerodynamic system, was, was definitely a high watermark. The next car in the series, the McLaren Senna. It's a road-going car, of course, but its brief is absolutely to be the ultimate road legal car on track. Next came the Speedtail. That's a car that will do 250 miles an hour, 400 kilometers an hour. That means achieving very, very efficient aerodynamics, which means low drag coefficient. The McLaren Elva is a car, the concept of which is just for the pure pleasure and exhilaration of driving. When we talk about pleasure and exhilaration and exposure in this case, that meant stripping the car of absolutely everything, including the windscreen. So effectively no weather protection at all. And that presented the aerodynamic challenge for this car. The idea for this car in terms of the aerodynamics was with absolutely nothing between you and the wind coming at you, would it be possible to create a virtual canopy? And that was the challenge that we set ourselves. Inside here, there's a giant hook shaped duct. Uh, Air is channeled in the front of the car, which is the area where the highest pressure, uh, obviously, is the car's pushing its way through the air. This air is all ducted and channeled through the centre of the car and is turned through 120 degrees and actually exits the top surface in this direction. So it is fired out of here at very, very high velocity. Of course, there's onrushing air coming behind it and that high energy channel of air that's being forced up here is bent back by the oncoming air and is effectively curved back all the way over the canopy. If you're sitting in the car with the system deployed at let's say uh, 100 kilometers an hour or 120 kilometers an hour, you can sit here in relative calm, um, your hair if you have hair is unruffled and if you put your hand above your head there's a certain point where you transition and it's just literally like sticking your hand out of the car window at that speed. It's as dramatic as that. Um, the system is actually boosted in terms of its performance um, by a gurney, which is, which is here. This actually rises as a function of speed. When you start going faster and faster, the gurney rises. And the system, the whole system can be switched off from inside the car. There's an internal flap that shuts the whole, the whole duct off. 